what's up guys, my name is Kishiro Skitazu and welcome back to another episode of the Unbox with Kashiro. Wow! Wow! Oh, of course I still have this one. Stay tuned for the taste test. I know it's take long but be patient, right? Now I'm going to show you. Which is right here. Right freaking here. You can see on the top. What would it be? So I'm going to show you. Tapes. Don't mind about her hat. Got my mom's hat. All right. So this is what it is. So I'm going to show you what it is. <laughs> Finally, I have. And the other one is for real, of course. So before I'm going to open this bad boy up, I'm going to show you before I bought this. Take it in, Pass Kashiro. I mean future Kashiro, I'm so sorry. Okay, I finally got this man. I'm going to put this and then let's going to make some um, unbox with Shito. Yay! Now, let's open this bad boy up. So this is what it looks like. I cannot show somewhere because I don't want to fall off all of my stuff. So let's move aside. So first is the fishing rod. So technically it looked like this one but... but look. Whoop. So. Okay. Okay. Third. Okay. Fourth. Okay. And the last one. Okay. That was literally long. Yeah, literally long. Yeah, it's very long. I mean, whenever I'm using a T pose, it doesn't reach doesn't reach on my left hand see that was freaking long what do you mean by that Marv if you're watching this I hope that you're happy to, to use to finally using it even though I'm going to your to your place or perhaps on your shawarma to show this one for you on how to use those because this is the first time that I have my own fishing rod that is not literally DIY. <clears throat> so yeah, so those are my fishing rods. I mean those rods. And there I also have reels too. So how can I possibly going to put it on this one? Oh, I do have. I didn't expect. Oh, I didn't expect that we have. Um, well, I cannot show it to you, but this one. At least I bought this one, just in case, you know, it might be gonna be cut up. So I'm going to put that one. Alright, oh, I cannot put it here. So, so it's fine that I just bought that one, just in case that I could possibly need it for some reason. Why is it like different? Why is it like this? We should need to move that part. There you go. It's okay now. Bingo bango. And I do have some lures. Literally four of them. 
So I have this, a little worm. Mostly using this one from the previous fishing vlog about the worms. Unlike unlike on the part one, I'm using um, shrimp, and I catch the fish, like literally unexpected. And the other one from the actual part two, that is he caught the fish. Uh, no, not the fish. The crab. But for now, I also have this one. It looks like a lobster. It's really cool though. And I have this. Looks like squid. And the other one too. So how can I possibly going to attach with those things? Because I do have a hooks. Speaking of hooks, where are my hooks? Oh, there you go. I also have this one. Like a rubber of prop. And this is looks like from the hooks. It's literally that big, a bit big, but it's all right though. And I also have this one. Or something that I needed. And I don't know about this one too. It looks like a bell. Oh, that's not. You can possibly see it right there. Hold on for a sec, I'm going to show it to you. There you go. It's like this one. This is what it looks like. I don't know what I'm going to use with this one. With you. <coughs> and also from the water levels. Nice. So technically I also have this one. I don't know what is this one. Is it literally attached from this? Maybe. But at least I have it. And I also have this bell. Maybe if you're using for a fishing rod that might be catch from the fish. Alright, let's move aside. And there is also another one. I also have this one for more hooks, I guess. I don't know what this, this spring to. This layer uh, might be as well to put it in just in case if I am going to do something with it. So I'm going to put that one, you know, for just for spacing. So yeah, those are the sets. I don't know when should I going to test it out. I really want to show it to Marv. On his place, or perhaps on his shawarma, that I'm going to possibly to assemble it, and then someday that I could possibly use it from the cook, the uh, not kushido, fishing kushido. Actually, it's still in blocks, like literally, it's a part of the blocks after all. So I'm not going to make some uh, some like um, fishing kushido a new a new like series or something. I can take take it off. With Okay, I take it off, and then I take off this one. So that's even better. So I finally be able to put it down like this. There you go. <clears throat> now I'm going for the outro, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm literally happy that I have this one, but I hope that I might be using it while fishing. Maybe someday that I could possibly count a fish. Maybe a, maybe a bigger? Hmm, who knows? Hopefully, I'm, that is my literally dream. When I was a kid, um, in my other place, there's a flood, literally a flood in my place. And then I saw a fish. I do have a DIY fish. I caught almost, like literally almost. And but I failed. And then my father, or some, and also my uncle before, that he also do fishing, and they caught it. I'm, I just literally like wanted to caught the fish. Literally. Even I watched Loco's channel as well about fishing, but I really wanted to, to catch something. And here I am. 
that I catch using a DIY and this time I'm going to catch with using this one. And I see to you all and it's Sainara. I'm still scared if it might be stuck again. I don't want it to be happen again. Hopefully. Finally, Jinx is here. Hold on for a sec. Hey, Jinx! Mm. Some fishing too as well, Mimi and Jinx. Mm. 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 